today I'll be making everybody's favorite chicken makani or butter chicken. This is a rich chicken dish that's perfect with roti or rice. Starting off with two chicken breast cubed. You can even use the thighs and even the bones if you wish to. But because this is a delicious creamy chicken that's very easy to eat, I prefer it without any bones. Marinating the chicken with some curd, ginger and garlic and salt and some chili powder. Mix it thoroughly so that it's all coated with this yummy marinade. Marinate the chicken and leave it for about half an hour. Now I'm getting ready to make the sauce. This dish comes with two separate components, the chicken and then the sauce. The sauce is what makes the dish really delicious with that creaminess. And here I'm starting off with some butter, ginger and garlic paste and some onions. And I'm going to fry this until it's translucent. Adding some red chili powder, this gives a lovely color and taste. Now I'm adding a few condiments to this mixture. Starting off with some cumin powder and some coriander powder. To this I'm adding two huge tomatoes chopped. If you have smaller tomatoes, you can use more. So make sure you add a lot of tomatoes. Adding about 10 cashew nuts, a little bit of pepper. And just check for seasoning at this stage. If you feel it's less sharp, you can add more salt. Add one cup of water and let this cook until everything is soft and nice. Once it's cool, put everything into a sumit or a grinder and grind it until it's a smooth paste. It should be nice and creamy. If you like it, you can even strain it at this stage. Now I'm using the same pan with a little bit of oil to fry the chicken. Put the marinated chicken, now it has been sitting for a good half an hour and let it fry nicely until all the water has evaporated and the chicken is fried really well. It should take roughly about 10 minutes. Keep stirring it occasionally. You don't have to add any water. The water in the chicken is plenty to cook the chicken well. As you can see, the chicken is cooked thoroughly and fried nicely. There is no water left. So now I keep this chicken aside and getting ready to combine these two delicious things to make one perfect dish. Adding some butter and some chili. Of course, it's butter chicken. We have to put a lot of butter. So it's up to you. You can add a little bit more butter, but I'm going slow. Then adding all this ground mixture into this. Watch out, it may splatter. Make, making sure that nothing is left because I don't want to waste any of this delicious mixture. Add about one cup of water and wash the grinder thoroughly and add that water as well so that we are not wasting any of this. Now you can see it's a nice thick lovely sauce. Let the sauce cook until it's boiling. When the sauce is boiling, add all the fried chicken into this sauce. You can see it smells really yummy and it's beautiful. You can just go ahead and serve this right away. Or you can add some thick coconut cream or some fresh cream and make it really yummy and delicious. You can see the gravy is lovely and glossy. At this stage, you can add some coriander leaves. Let the cream cook and you can see the gravy, a lovely velvety texture. I'm letting it sit. 
simmer slightly. I'm adding a little bit of parsley, but coriander is perfect. Now the butter chicken is ready. It looks amazing and tastes absolutely delicious. I'm sure everyone in your family are going to love this. Please try it and let me know. Until I meet you next, happy cooking. Bye for now.